Hi, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. We miss you. I just wanted to share a passage of scripture that the Lord um, showed me this morning uh, that I felt like kind of applies to our situation right now. And it's Jeremiah 17, verses 5 through 8, and I'm reading out of the New Living Translation. Verse 5 says, This is what the Lord says. Cursed are those who put their trust in mere humans, who rely on human strength and turn their hearts away from the Lord. They are like stunted shrubs in the desert with no hope for the future. They will live in the barren wilderness in an uninhabited salty land. And I feel like in this season that we're in, we're kind of finding out maybe what we put our trust in, whether that's in our job or relationships or our finances, or maybe even just as life as we knew it. Like all of that is just gone, right? Or or changed, definitely changed. So it's talking about, this passage is talking about not having hope for the future because we're putting our trust in the wrong thing. So I want to ask you, do you have hope? And if you have hope, where is your hope at? Is it in your bank account? Or is it in the Lord? This passage is talking about being like a stunted shrub in the desert with not having any hope. And a shrub, like it's fruitless and useless. A, a shrub doesn't bear any fruit and it doesn't even have any seed in it. But verse 7 goes on to say, But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. Notice that it says they've made the Lord their hope and confidence. That's a choice. We get to do that. We get to choose that. Verse 8 goes on to say, They are like trees planted along a riverbank with roots that reach deep into the water. Such trees are not bothered by the heat or worried by long months of drought. Their leaves stay green and they never stop producing fruit. We're in the season of drought, and are, are you worried about it? Are you bothered by it? We have a choice here. Uh, verse 8 says, They are like trees planted along a riverbank with roots that reach deep into the water. Such trees are not bothered by the heat or worried by long months of drought. Their leaves stay green, and they never stop producing fruit. Right now, we don't know how long our situation is going to last like this, how, how things are going to play out. Are you bothered by that? Are you worried? This passage is saying that we don't need to be, but we need to be planted along a riverbank where Christ is the source of that riverbank. And if you're, if you're planted, you're placed there purposely so that we can grow. So we get to choose that. Am I going to plant myself along the riverbank? And then it talks about with roots that reach deep. Okay, roots reaching deep. That takes action on our part. Are you going to let your roots reach deep towards Christ so that we, we know the source of our life. We know the source of our nourishment and our growth. And for some of you, that may mean I have to make a choice to get out of bed or get out of bed earlier in order to spend time with the Lord. I need to shut off the TV or get off of social media. Make time with God a priority right now. Will you let your roots reach deep towards him? And as another suggestion, take time to watch the services online. Even listening to these devotionals, hopefully they're encouraging you and listening to the worship sets that Amy's putting online. Do stuff to feed your, your soul, to, to feed your spirit, to, to get you reaching towards the Lord. The passage says, such trees are not bothered by the heat or worried by long months of drought. Their leaves stay green and they never stop producing fruit. I want to be fruitful. I want this season for us to be fruitful, that it wouldn't be just a let's grin and bear it and get through it, but really that we would all bear fruit. And sometimes that might be God working in me, like bringing to the surface things that I've made an idol or things that I valued more than him. And also, maybe looking for what he's wanting me to do in this season, to, to bear fruit outside of my little quarantined home. Who can I reach out to? And so, I just want to encourage each of you to plant yourselves with the Lord. Look to him to help you grow. Let your roots reach down deep into him and his love. Hope to see you soon.